Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going to be going over Spot. And I took him to rank four, and I don't really know enough about him. I know just enough to get some uh, decent damage out of him, but we're going to go over his abilities. So first, let's take a look at his attributes, just uh, so you guys can see what he looks like at rank four. And we'll also take a look at his synergies. All right, so he's got this first synergy, Dark Force Project Funding. Uh, he'll start each fight with two spots, which it, it's it's nice. I don't know if it'd be worth uh, bringing along uh, a synergy, but look at who he has the synergy with. It's Kingpin, you know, and Mr. Negative. They're both good champions. So. Um, that wouldn't be a problem. It wouldn't be a, um arduous task to bring Kingpin uh, or Mr. Negative. Uh, now you're punching with portals. Let's see. Portal blocks that block basic attacks. Grant spot a non-stanking fury. Increasing attack. Okay, so that one there looks really interesting. And look who he has the synergy with. Um, now, America Chavez just got a rework, and she's actually really good now. So I could definitely see myself bringing her along uh, on the team. Wong, he is too much of a ramp-up champion for me, uh, but America Chavez, definitely. Then we've got here Impetuous Youth. When Untouchable starts and inflict a 40% taunt, I could see where that would be useful if you are fighting on a node where the uh, AI or the node uh, prevents them from uh, firing off their attacks. I know there's a few um, all or nothing. We don't really see all or nothing uh, these days uh, in the newer content, but uh, I forgot the name of it, but uh, it's the one where they fire off their specials um, in a row. You know, they fire off the one, then the two, then the three. And that might get them to throw, you know, a special one and then another special one. So I can see where that might be useful, but um, not enough for me to bring these guys along. Uh, gain 10% rupture debuff potency. Now that, more damage. Um, another dimension gives a flat 10% chance to resist. Okay. Uh, to resist unblockable and heavy attacks per spot. And you can get, if I remember correctly, 10 spots. We'll, we'll, we'll look at that later. All right. So I see Mephisto and uh, Magic. I don't really tend to use them a whole lot, so I don't know. But, all right. Now, before we go in here, let me turn my Do Not Disturb on. All right. Let's first talk about the signature ability. You want him awakened. And you want him at SIG 200. So, after a portal block ends, each hit... Um, of, uh, I guess, the next uh, successful light, heavy, or a t uh, special attack deals an instant rupture, dealing some physical damage. For each spot he gained during that portal block, okay? So right there, that's letting me know that I'm probably going to want to get them to hit into uh, my block when I have the portal block active and build up spots. OK, and then I'll be able to do more damage, light, heavy or special. So if I can build up the uh, spots, I'm going to not want to do mediums, but light attacks, heavy attacks and special attacks. OK. While untouchable and we'll talk about untouchable later, 
um, attacks that strike the opponent while they are performing a heavy attack or recovering from a special attack grant him a fury passive increasing attack. So that's more damage. You want this guy at SIG 200. It's going to give him a lot more damage. As you can see, mine is only uh, SIG 23. I will be working on getting him uh, to SIG 200. And uh, hold on. What is his name? Owen? I don't know if that's how you pronounce that name. Owned or Owen? Uh, all right. So there we go. When struck, max 10, like I said. Uh, Jonathan Owen, that's all I'm going to, I'm just going to call him Owen. Uh, his body is covered in portals uh, to the spotted dimension called spots. Uh, Owen has a 20% chance when struck to gain one spot. Well, that's not very exciting to me because I don't want to get hit. Now on defense, that's really good. At five plus spots, being struck by a basic attack, again, don't want that when you're attacking, uh, grants him a 100% potency untouchable passive, causing incoming attacks to have 100% chance to miss for five seconds. So this seems more for defense because it's when struck. And on defense, he's going to get struck. On offense, he may or may not. Okay, if he's struck while recovering from a special, one spot is removed. And he cannot gain spots for ten uh, for four seconds. So when you're fighting this guy, you have to keep this in mind. Okay, you want to attack him when he is recovering from a special, so he can um, lose a spot and can't gain one. So bait out the special, hit him when he's recovering. You know, punish the special, and you can kind of back him down. And when he cannot get any more spots for four seconds, that's when you want to push him to another special and then bait that one out. Okay, so that seems to be kind of how uh, to fight him. All right, now, this untouchable that we've been talking about. Um, while he's untouchable, he becomes stun immune. He cannot gain spots, and he consumes all the spots once it is over. Uh, there are quite a few champions that have mechanics similar to this where they build up and they get into this mode and then they lose all of that and they can start over. When an incoming attack would miss, inflict a rupture debuff. All right. And that deals physical damage. Nasty. OK. Uh, that is useful to know both on offense and defense. Because you can make use of this on offense when you get untouchable, get them to miss you. Like, you know, Ghost. And they'll be taking lots of damage. Um, I guess that's more like um, Kitty, perhaps. Uh, landing a hit pauses untouchable for 0.3 seconds and inflicts a non-stacking infuriate, making the opponent more aggressive and reducing their offensive ability accuracy by 60% for two seconds. Why? Why is that important? Well, we just read that when the incoming attack would miss, they're going to get a rupture debuff inflicting damage on them. So you start hitting while you're untouchable, and it'll inflict the infuriate, which will cause them to want to hit you more. So it's basically going to cause them to do more damage to themselves if you play it right. You know, hit, 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 and then let them attack you. And that might keep them from turtling up and things like that. Incoming attacks from the opponent and attacks that make contact with Owen inflict a rupture debuff dealing physical damage. All of this is while he's untouchable. Uh, so basically, when you go untouchable... That's when you want them to attack you. All right. Portal block. We mentioned about his portal block before. This is basically when he's blocking. Um, he holds his block and he gains, look at that, 8,800 block proficiency bonus per spot. 
per spot. And then after 0.5 seconds, he opens a portal to the spotted dimension in front of him. Uh, while he's defending, portal blocks activate immediately. We'll see that. Uh, this ability is not affected by ability accuracy, so you can't stop it. Um, and let's see, portal block grants the following effects for two seconds. He's locked into place, which is nice because he's not moving. And he gains one spot when the opponent strikes into the portal block. So you kind of see what you want to do. Uh, you want to get them to attack into your block. And what I have noticed is that the AI will often fire a heavy attack. One of the easier ways to get them to attack into your block is with their special attacks. You know, because they can't do anything. Once they start their special attack, just start blocking. So you can kind of do it that way. Um, but if you can get them to attack your block while you have the portal block active, you can gain spots that way. All right, at 10 spots, his block proficiency bonus returns to zero. This is important. This is very important um, because I got wrecked because I did not know this. I built up to 10, and then I kept doing the block, and I was taking crazy damage. And I was like, wait, 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 wait. You know, it wasn't great, great, great damage, but it was more damage than I was used to. But now I understand why. It's because I had built up already to the 10 spots. So now I'm back down to normal, taking the regular block damage, whatever it is. Okay. Now he has 20% chance to uh, resist heavy attacks per spot and block unblockable attacks. So do a little math. That means five spots. And you're going to resist heavy attacks. Got that. And you'll block unblockable attacks. So even though the computer AI likes to fire heavy attacks off, just keep going, build up to five, and then block the heavy attacks. While Owen is affected by a disorient effect, portal block does not trigger. So try not to get disoriented uh, special attacks after activation gain one spot per bar of power spent uh, and at 10 spots he gains untouchable so that's really nice um we already read what the untouchable does and now we see that it triggers at 10 spots so special one inflict a buff immunity, a uh, debuff on Owen for 10 seconds. And at 10 spots, it lasts for 20 seconds. Interesting. While active, each time Owen is immune to a buff, inflict a rupture. So if you're fighting against somebody who gains a lot, uh, or, or I guess, I'm trying to think now. If he's immune to buffs, I guess you could keep on, um, you would try to gain a buff by um, dexing. Or if there is a node where you're gaining buffs, or if you gain buffs from your opponent. I'm not so sure how useful that one will be but I can see where it could be. It's good to know it. <clears throat> uh, special two. On activation, if Owen is untouchable, inflict a physical vulnerability debuff, lowering physical resistance by 3,300 for 10 seconds. At 10 spots, this lasts for 20 seconds. Um, each hit deals a burst of physical damage for each rupture effect inflicted on the opponent since the start of the fight, or Owen's last special two attack, max 50 stacks. So this, it does a lot of damage if you are built up. And I watched someone uh, take massive damage by this guy's special two. 
nasty. So we'll play around with that a little bit. Uh, special three, you're going to gain your max spot. So that means special three, you're going to trigger uh, your untouchable once per fight. If spot is at 10 spots, increase the duration of all personal rupture effects by 100% for the rest of the fights. Ooh. So that's an interesting way to play him then. Build up to a special three after getting 10 spots, fire the special three off, and then you can play normally, but you'll be doing a lot more damage. So I guess if the fight is a longer duration type fight, that would be a good way to uh, do it. And for the shorter fights, build up to 10 um, and try to fire off your special two, I guess. All right, foul play, pre-fight ability. He starts the fight, uh, each quest with one persistent charge. And let's see, what does it do? Okay, he gains one every time he's knocked out, max of three. Uh, during the next fight, when the opponent is knocked down, Owen's uh, science teammate is inflicted with buff immune debuff lasting three seconds. Okay. Uh, I will have to really think about this one because I don't know how useful that pre-fight ability will be. Since it's not going to affect him, you put the pre-fight on for another. Um, and it gives him buff immunity for just three seconds. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure about that one. Uh, leave a comment if you uh, have some ideas on uh, when that will come in handy. So, all right, let's uh, head into Realm of Legends, and we'll play around with Spot here uh, and see if we can get some good damage out of him. All right, so be right back. Hello. Yes, so I don't show my uh, camera during the first part of the video because I want you to focus on, you know, the words and uh, his kit. Uh, but now we're going to go into Realm of Legends and I'm going to showcase a little bit about Spot. Keep in mind that I'm running the Recoil Mastery, so his damage is going to be a little bit higher than normal. And I am still learning him. So what you're seeing me do here, I'm trying to get him to hit into my block. There you go. So that was a portal block. You see, I got one spot. All right. Now, uh, for some reason, the AI, especially when a soldier, is often very passive. So he's really annoying. All right, but I, you saw I was able to bait out that special and I'm building up. Now I got five, so check it out. Look at this, block, heavy, don't matter. Love it, right? Look at this, look at this, I don't care. All right, so now I got 10 and we fire into the special two. And now I'm untouchable, look at that. And he took all that damage, loving it, loving it. That is sweet, okay? Um, and I'm sure that if I, you know, practice a bit more with him, I'll get even better. All right, so now you know what his special two looks like, right? Um, both Spot and Winter Soldiers. So you know I'm trying to bait this special two out. See what I mean? He don't want to throw it. So I'm like, all right, fine, here, go to your special three. There you go. All right, so now I'm at seven. And I'm like, come on, do it again. There you go. Now I'm back at 10. And this time I wanted to fire off the special three. Remember what we read about the special three? That should give me big boy ruptures, you know, for the rest of the fight. Love the uh, special three animation, by the way. All right, so here we go. I'm untouchable. Hey, hey. I was blocking at first and I was like, wait a minute, I'm untouchable. See, look at this. Beautiful. Look at the damage he's taken. Those are small little numbers, but there are a lot of them, okay? Look at his health. His health bar going down pretty well, okay? So we're back. We're reset, and I'm sure I'm not playing him to his max damage potential, but I hope I've shown you a little bit how you can play him, all right? See, look at this, and I'm not taking any damage, really. That I love, all right? And you see here, I'm doing the special again. And a lot of the damage that you see me take is from my own recoil, you know? Look at this. Now, that time, I had to 
uh, stop because Untouchable was going to end in the middle of his special and I would have taken all that damage. The AI does that sometimes. Uh, so you have to be careful with that. Uh, but anyway, hopefully that showcased Spot and also gave you an idea of how to play him and how to play against him. Uh, if you have any tips or tricks or anything like that, leave a comment below. Let me know. I'm still a newbie spot player, uh, but hopefully this will help you guys out. And it certainly helped me out because I learned as I was, you know, reading this for you guys. OK, so anyway, take care and you all have a blessed day.